Well, it is going to be a great Sunday, especially after we got through all that snow. It painted such a pretty picture, though. It was pretty, and then it was a slushy mess. Yes. <laughs> if you had to walk and drive it in, you're, you're absolutely right. Um, but fortunately, the heavy snow or the persistent snow has now stopped. Many folks received a good four to eight inches yeah. of fresh snow on the ground yesterday. Some of the highest snow totals really since uh, early November. So it's been a stretch since we've had that persistent snow. Is oh, it yeah. going to warm up at all? Unfortunately not. <laughs> it is January after all, and Mother Nature is certainly reminding us of that with temperatures <laughs> that are starting in the teens to about 20 degrees. And on the serious side, we've got a lot of brief freezing out there. On the on the good, the piece of good news is the persistent snow that we had yesterday that is now left it has become a lot more scattered, and the system continues to move off to the east, but in its wake, we still have scattered flurries that are around. You can see them here, uh, right here in Detroit, also just down river in southern portions of Wayne County. You got an area of flurry activity right here, right around the Flint area, and also around Lapeer, and in portions of Oakland County, including the Novi area, and right around Wixom. So we'll still have some on and off flurries that will be taking place. We have bursts of energy that will move through as well later this morning and around noontime. So don't be surprised by a couple of snow squalls that might dot the landscape or some scattered snow showers, especially this morning and into the early afternoon. And then during the middle of the afternoon, when we reach our high temperatures, temperatures aren't going to go very far from where they are now, mostly in the low twenties to about 25 degrees. So any places that were wet yesterday are frozen solid right now and remain frozen if left untreated. Above our heads, we keep the clouds in place. Icy conditions with scattered flurries this morning, a few scattered snow squalls and showers by noontime and shortly afterward. Highs only around 25 to 27 degrees uh, by 4 p.m. 19 is what the temperature is now as you head to services or other activities this morning. That wind is still pretty strong. Brisk conditions out there with winds at around 15 miles per hour. That makes it feel a lot colder also. On your bare skin, if it's not protected, it feels like it's in the single digits to near zero. Five is the current wind chill over at Metro Airport. And if you are just driving for the first time, be careful with ramps, bridges, and overpasses, especially with refreezing that's already taken place. Also, if you're cleaning off your car for the first time since yesterday, make sure you clear off all the headlights and taillights. Also, clear all the windows, not just the front window, but also the rear window, the back, even the top of the car, the hood, and also the trunk. And make sure you, you uh, watch out for road crews that are still out there give them lots of space as they operate this morning and during the middle part of the day and later on. We're looking at 19 right now for our friends over in Pontiac. Good morning, Ann Arbor. You've got 17 degrees, about 17 right now for our friends over in Monroe. The only warning that's out there, flood warning in effect along the Huron River in Hamburg. That's good until one o'clock in the afternoon on Monday because of melting and runoff that, wa that water in the Huron River has now gotten back to flood stage or higher and will be there for at least the next 24 hours. And yes, you guessed it, the temperatures we're feeling right now easily four, seven, 11 degrees lower than, than where they were at this time yesterday. And those winds making it feel a lot colder. Not only here in Detroit with a wind chill of five, it feels like one single degree. In Ann Arbor, also in Monroe, it feels like it's below zero for our friends and neighbors over in Adrian. And wind chills will mostly be in the single digits and teens for the rest of the day. On the computer models, you can see a couple a line of flurries and uh, snow showers will form to our north coming off of Lake Huron, cruise over the area through the noon hour, but then they'll dive down to the south by 4 p.m. and afterward. We'll see drier conditions for the second half of our afternoon, and look how it clears out later on tonight. We'll at least have dry conditions, but those clearer skies, that means that lots of heat goes back out in the space, so it becomes frigid once again for the start of MLK Day, the holiday for tomorrow. 15 degrees overnight. As you celebrate the holiday and head to commemorations and ceremonies, highs only around 25 degrees, but grab the sunglasses as well as your winter gear to stay warm. We're looking at high temperatures around 25, but with mostly sunny skies. And that sunshine sticks with us as we go into Tuesday. And take a look at this. For the week, temperatures go in the right direction during the afternoon. They keep going up. 27 on Tuesday, that's still below freezing, but close to the freezing mark and some good thawing taking place later this week. 32 degrees on uh, Wednesday, upper 30s and even low 40s by the end of this week on Thursday and Friday. Back over to you.